Basics. Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy Reese. Welcome back again to another episode on the podcast. And today we are talking about how Hollywood awards Attack on Titan as the best streaming animated series. The popular Attack on Titan anime, which has aired for over 10 years and received numerous tie-ins and spin-offs, has now won a major Hollywood award. Despite a controversial ending, Attack on Titan continues its streak of critical acclaim with its most recent accolade from the Astra TV Awards, which granted it the title of Best Streaming Animated Series. The hit anime series was one of many television shows awarded for its achievements in the industry at the recent Astra TV Awards, presented by the Hollywood Creative Alliance, listed among fellow television titans like Succession, The Boys and The Last of Us. The anime which recently closed out its final season with a feature length finale received the award for best streaming animated series for its achievements as an animated series that debuted exclusively on a streaming service. Attack on Titans win marks the first ever one for any anime at the Astra TV Awards. Amid a troubled development cycle that saw several breaks during production and the rollout of its final season across several parts, Attack on Titan saw a resurgence in popularity in the last year as it headed towards its conclusion. The anime which debuted in 2013 ran for four seasons across two animated studios. It has brought home numerous awards in the past for its storytelling and animation making its most recent win just one of numerous big achievements. The anime series revolves around the last remnants of humanity's fighting against man-eating monsters that seek to wipe them out. Across its four season, decade-long tenure, the series experienced a troubled development cycle that saw its original animators, Wit Studio, eventually hand the work over to MAPPA for the final season citing issues with workflow and conditions. Nevertheless, the series finally saw its completion in late 2023 across multiple parts, the last of which aired as a feature length special that adapted the manga's controversial ending and added a few new elements to expand on the conclusion. The manga's original ending proved divisive among fans when it premiered, leading to anticipation of several new chapters that Isayama later released as part of an official art book. Despite this controversial ending, however, the series finale proved to be one of the show's most watched episodes on its release date on Crunchyroll, proving so popular that it reportedly caused major outrages slash outages for the site. This combined with its simultaneous use of traditional hand-drawn animation and 3D rendered CG footage earned it the top spot at the Astra TV Awards, beating out the competition from other streaming exclusive anime series like Spy X Family. Attack on Titan is available to stream on Crunchyroll, Funimation, Netflix, Hulu and Prime Video. This is a dub for Isayama's work. Okay, this is a dub. Attack on Titan, when I ask random people if they've watched anime, their first anime series to mention to me is Attack on Titan or One Piece or even One Punch Man, which I think is quite intriguing as since the Netflix um, company came out and released that, released anime within that um, platform, a lot of people whose first animes have been Attack on Titan. I think Attack on Titan is a trending series in terms of just popularity and the reason why people would tend to um, gravitate towards the anime series is because it can be some form of a relatable anime series slash story can you imagine in the real world if titans really existed and they were eating humans i feel like stories like that is what captures people's interest because people want to know how they would possibly intervene in their own demise if they encountered a titan the anime series has been going on for 10 years and for the last ending series the controversial series is that basically um if i remember correctly mikasa went and lived her life with another guy i can't remember the guy's name because to me it's just insignificant but it was a big thing do you know what i mean i feel like attack on titan ugh, i don't know how to explain it but to me personally it wasn't like a big it wasn't like a big 
change in my life but it definitely was i know for a fact a big possible change in those people's lives who just started to get into anime i think attack on titan is one of the greatest animes to watch especially for getting into anime series but because attack on titan wasn't my first experience within the anime world or the anime community i just understand that this is just like a dropping a drop in the sea or dropping a bucket of great shows to be experienced in the future but for someone who's getting into anime i can imagine that this is this is a whole gallon you know what i mean a whole water bottle like they are thirsty and this is this just quenched their thirst so shout out to the anime for getting awards you know what i mean shout out to the anime for bringing new people into the realm of anime especially i start shout out to isayama because i can't lie that like, the story has given us its greatest moments within the series especially moments that will be remembered such as i don't know Eren's first transformation that was badass to me do you know what i'm saying or when we first found out that annie was a tyrant that was that was hectic to me or when for example um um reiner and bruno i think his name is bruno i can't remember big be um betrayed everyone and then uh what's this guy's name Eren was like you traitor uh, bro like there's some fire moments in attack on time bro i can't even count attack on time is freaking fire bro like if you haven't seen it go freaking watch it like you'll enjoy it there's no way you will not enjoy it bro in fact i even spoiled it for you a little bit but like i can't lie to you man like <laughs> there's so many more moments than just that do you know what i'm saying but yeah anyways it's been your boy roos or mr 36 and whether you're watching or listening to this in the morning afternoon and the evening i hope you guys enjoy this episode and enjoy your day make sure to drink water because it is very healthy for you and get your eight hours of rest in a day you know what i'm saying as well as that if you'd like to support the podcast make sure to hit the description and click the link okay i'm out take care peace